but record. All right, so tonight I'm going to show you how to do um, the Tear Bears, and we're still going to work on our chipboard book. Um, if you want the pattern, it's over on my blog. Um, of course, I'll just have to do it after the show. Hi, Lois. Um, but you'll have a chance to go over there and grab the pattern if you want it. So we are going to make this one, um, this little bear, and another one. So um, let me show you. Get rid of this. Hold on. We'll just get the top of there. there. Hi, Ella. <laughs> um, I was looking through some pictures and I was trying to find um, something that I wanted to put in the book tonight. But um, I just want to show you... Um, I've been doing tear bears. Well, I've been scrapbooking probably since 2005. Am I nice and warm? Yeah, it's pretty warm today. Almost all the snow is melted now. We had like four inches on Sunday, but um, pretty much melted now, so that's good. <laughs> um, so for the bears, like I've been doing them at least six, seven years now. So I don't want you to get discouraged if you're doing your bear and it doesn't look like a bear as I'm going to show you I probably even shouldn't show you this but I'm going to show you but these were my first bears what they looked like and mine are a lot cuter now <laughs> so that was that I'm supposed to put like Mickey Mouse ears like the ears are huge on here so you can see like this one oh my gosh this one looks terrible and you can see I started in 2005 but then they started getting a little bit better And then um, I had a couple, their name, last name was Bear, and they were getting married. So um, I made a wedding bear for them. <laughs> and I used to, um, when I first started, I used to sell them on eBay. And then everybody was doing bears, so I switched to dogs. So um, I did do a couple cute little dogs. So I will show you these. This is a Basset Hound. Isn't he cute? I like doing dogs a lot. This one's a St. Bernard. This one is Maltese. That was one of the very first ones I did. And then I started adding feathers to them to make them more fluffy. <laughs> Just skinnier, yeah. <laughs> then this one's a little Yorkie. And this one's a Welsh Corgi. And then um, this one was a Springer Spaniel. People used to ask me to make certain ones for them. So then I would do them. And this one's a Border Collie. You cute. Uh, let's see. And then this is one I made just like, I did like a whole bunch of them. It's hard to see. Pretty much. Um, oh, this one's a cute one. Lopso Opso. And I can see where I put a lot of the feathers on there. And then this one's a Rottweiler. He's pretty cute. It's hard to see because he's kind of black. Mostly black. Um, and this one's a pug. I always used to put a little tongue with their tongues hanging out. I like that. <laughs> and then this one's a Great Dane. Um, this one was a Golden Retriever. Oh, thank you. That's another Dotson. It seems like I made a lot of Dotsons. <laughs> Uh, this little chihuahua. <laughs> yeah, panting. This is a bulldog. <laughs> you want a puppy? <laughs> this one's a cocker spaniel. I did a lot of them. This one's a little poodle. <laughs> and then these were cute too. The Scottish terriers. They're cute. <laughs> Um, and these are just kind of other little dogs I made. Um, but that was kind of my dogs. But tonight we're going to do the bears. I was trying to see. I think I had one more. Or somebody had a biker and they wanted a biker, a dog on a bike. So. <laughs> Hi, Jonna. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to think what other ones I had. Cute ones in here. Um, this one was chewing on a shoe. <laughs> Um, and this one's cute too. Another little Dotson. It was like a furry Dotson. <laughs> oh, thank you, Heather. Oh, my bandage fell off. And that was it. So tonight I'm going to show you the bears. And if you don't have mulberry paper, you can um, do it at a cardstock. I would use like deco scissors or... Oh, my bandage is coming off. Um, 
but they'll still look cute um, out of the cardstock. So let me get my pattern. So and I was running out of ink, but um, if you go on my blog, this is what you'll get. You'll get the um, it has the eyes and the nose. It'll have the ear, the little muzzle. This is his head, the little body, and then uh, legs and arms. So I'm going to hand free mine tonight, though. But you can, um, if you, I want to show you, if you want to make a pattern, you can use the, oh, wait, hold on, I, gotta get this. I have my stuff all over the place tonight, and I'm like crowded here. Um, let's just get this here for now. Oops. Anytime I want to make a pattern, and I just don't, oh, pop and everything. Now I can't find my acrylic. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Where is this? Any of you who bought um, the Prima chipboard album that has the little girl and you're thinking, well, I don't have the stamp. How am I going to make this girl on this book? Hi, Dawn. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. So you're saying, I don't have the stamps and I want to decorate this girl. So what I usually do is I take a piece of acetate or tracing paper. I used to do tracing paper. It's so much better to do with the acetate. And then I just go over with the marker and then you'll have a pattern to um, create your own little girl. And so I do the same thing with the bears. Um, I put a piece of acetate on them. And I trace it and I just make a pattern with whatever I want. Um, so you can see, um, with the pattern you can blow it up, make it bigger or smaller. This is one of my other little bears I like. I like putting the little dresses on them and then putting the stickles on there. So we're going to uh, make that little bear tonight. And then these are the pictures I'm going to use tonight. So. Let's get started. Well, I should have probably told you what you need for your um, to make your bears tonight. So this is just mulberry paper, and you see it has a crinkly, it looks bumpy on this side. And then this is, um, thank you, Kathleen. This is uh, like a much smoother. It's the back. So actually, the bumpy side is the right side, and then I always do it on the back. So you'll need put this up here. You need a glue stick. You don't want to um, always use a glue stick with this paper. If you try to use liquid glue, any type of liquid glue, it'll seep through and you'll see it through the other side. <laughs> Thank you. So we need that. I usually use one of these. And you need a water pen or you could use a paintbrush and a cup of water. And then I usually get these brushes. Um, I get mine at the dollar store, but I know like Home Depot or a hardware store, they usually come in silver and gold and you use them to kind of fluff it out. So you'll see what I mean afterwards. So, and then um, just some chalk we'll need to, I hope I brought my chalk up here. So let me um, just show you. Stick this down here. So, well, maybe I'll cut out the pattern. It'll be easier for you to see. And uh, so we'll do that tonight. And really, it's just round, any round shape um, that you can uh, make. You know, you could take anything. You could use the bottom of your Lindy's and draw a circle around it. So, it doesn't have to be precise. And we'll draw a little body. I really just try to use what I have around me. Do the ears. And the muzzle. <coughs> uh oh, hold on. Let me get you links. Okay, go ahead, Dawn. I allowed the links now. 
All right, so what you're going to do is I, so you see here where it's straight, and then here where I already started turning, it's always harder to tear right at the straight part, so you want to move in a little bit. But I always butt my patterns right up to, I don't want to waste any of it, so I butt it right up there. Let me see if I get a little bit closer. Um... <clears throat> we go so then what I do is I take my um, stylus and then I'm just going to go around just you're going to use this like a pencil and you want to um, go pretty hard around here so then you'll see you'll have the impression of the what we just did and then you're going to take your water pen now I know Tim's supposedly water pen I don't have his is self-feeding but in the beginning, when you don't know how to use the pressure, because here, this one, you have to squeeze. So I just drop a little bit of water on my table here. And then it's just like if you're using a paintbrush and water, and then you're just going right back of everything that you just did. And I usually go over it like once or twice. And you can see it's starting to get a little bit darker. Like that. See? And then as you see that you're tearing, and if it doesn't tear easily, then you need to add more water. So what you're doing is you're just tearing it away. Do you see how it just, you just tear it like that. And it tears pretty easily. Now, like I said, if it doesn't, then you're going to add more water. So it's pretty much all it is. And then I flip it over and put it on the crinkly side. And in the beginning, it's easy to um, keep your patterns with that because sometimes the ears and the muzzle could get mixed up. So then you need, when I have the ear, I always have this straight part here. So that's where I use this on here. I put it against this side here. And you're just going to make, you need two ears. So you're just going to go around this. And I, like I said, I put them right up to next to each other. So that's the ear and then I'm going to cut another head only because if you really want to have dimension in your bears you really should put at least two together so let's at least the heads anyway oh a q-tip do you then you're just going to go around here again It depends where you are if it's really warm where you are you probably only want to do one at a time you don't want to like wet three or four pieces at a time it's pretty cold here so I could go ahead and do it so we're gonna tear the other head and you don't have to be gentle with this paper and if you're doing it on cardstock then you can just use a pencil and then just cut them out so we have that this is extra thick mulberry paper. Um, it's, I'm going to see if you could see how thick it is. It's not like tissue paper. Um, it's really thick. Yep, it's easier to fuzz up too. Right. Right, so we have two ears. We need a little muzzle. Oh, and I have to show you my fish. I'll do that after we put this bear together. Remind me. Oh, and I didn't give you the sneak peek either. I, I didn't quite finish the By the Sea, but I did put the album together. But now I'll have to decorate it next week. But um, the outside, of it's all done. So I'll show you that after we do this bear. Okay. So then once we have those pieces... And you want to, um, when you use this brush, you want to use it when it's um, not real wet. What is that? I see egg crates. <laughs> um, so you just want to brush this out. And then I'm going to put two heads together here. So you just add the glue right on top. And then you just add this piece on here. 
and then I fluff it again. And then see how fluffy it kind of makes it? And then we're going to do the same with uh, the other pieces. the fish when I'm done. <laughs> All right, so then we're just going to put a little glue right on the edge here. Just on the very edge. And then I put one on one side like this. And you could go around and chalk this to give it a little bit more dimension, but for tonight I'm just going to um, just show you how to basically tear them. Then this one's not wire, it's nylon. Can you see? It's nylon, which is a nice thing, because the wire ones, yeah, they do prick your hands. <laughs> They're not very nice. Oh, I think I have one here, so I can show you the difference, yeah. This is the wire one, and you get your fingers on this, that does hurt. And then this is the nylon one, so you can see. Usually you get three in a pack. You get a gold, you get a silver, and another color. But I know the one in my dollar store, they sell the gold, silver, and this nylon one. So, yeah, this can get in your fingers. All right, so let's put the glue on here. And then for the muzzle, you could either put a pop dot on here. You don't want to put it flat on his face because you see then it just kind of blends right in. <laughs> and then we're going to what I usually do is I take my scraps that I have and I just use that and save my pop dots so all I do is just layer it on top of each other and then you have the muzzle there like that mm. You have some good mulberry paper with flowers. and Yeah, that would be cute, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right. Oops. And then we need a little body or neck. So if I'm just making um, just a head and a neck, I just tear off like a little triangle piece. You don't need a lot. And then I stick the head on like that. But tonight we're going to do the whole body. So, um, so I can show you how to do the dress. So then you want to take this. And I just, like I said, I just butt it up. I'm off camera there. Hi, Jenny. So, same thing, you're just going to go around, wet this. Oh, my fingers are bad. Can you see? Oh, I'm off camera there. So there we go with that. And then I'm going to put the head on here. Just put a little bit of glue there. And now, there we have the bat. And then we need the arms and the legs. Let's just cut those out real quick. And 
And I'm going to make mine just a little bit longer because I am going to put a skirt on her. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit longer. Like that. And I'm only going to use one because I'll just flip it. And same thing with the arm. I think I'll go a little bit longer. And if you get the PDF file, you could just, um, you know, make them bigger or longer, however you want. Okay. So then we're going to cut this. So remember again, not on the bumpy side. You want to go on the smooth side. And you're going to need two feet. Oh, really? <laughs> really, Jenny? Oh. All right. So then. And we're going to have her sitting down. So you're going to need a right and a left leg. So then I just flip this one over to give me the other leg. And what do I do with the arm? There it is. Now let's do the arm here. And then I'm going to flip this one over so I have a right and left arm. And the same thing, you're just going to go back over it two or three times. Oh, my finger is like, oh, don't look at my finger. <laughs> it's terrible. Of course, my band-aid fell off, and I don't think I have another band-aid here. And then I'll do this one. might make these arms a little skinnier for the girl that little girl I usually do the arms skinnier but this is just to show you the bear tonight so then again this tears pretty easily and if it doesn't I need to add more see like mine it's drying really fast tonight And again, you don't, like I said, you don't have to be gentle. Just tear it. Oops, my off camera. And there's uh, legs. And it might look like I'm struggling. Don't forget I have arthritis in my hand, so it's just a little bit harder for me to tear sometimes. But it's really, it's really easy. It's not hard to tear at all. Alright. So now we have a right and a left arm. And we have... Oh, I didn't cut this one too good. And the feet. So let's brush that out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with skinnier arms. I might even take her down a little bit more, but we'll see. All right, and so what we're going to do then is before I put the legs because we're going to have her sitting down like this. And then her arms will be here. And I usually have her hold something. So, But this one I'm going to have just hanging down. But that's your basic bear. And then you get it to stand up. You know, if you wanted it to walk in one direction, then you would do two feet the same way, like that. Yeah, I would like everything skinny too, Bunny. <laughs> So it all depends on how you want to do, how you're going to position your bear. So, 
and then if I was going to have this bear and once you glue it it's easy to tear things apart if you wanted to make like a crawling bear what I usually do is I put the stomach on the side like this tilt the head like that I would do a white piece of um, I have a piece here mulberry paper And I would cut like a little diaper, so let's just cut this in half. So you could put a little diaper on it like that. And then I usually do um, the feet like it's crawling. So these are the hands, so that would be crawling like that. Is this a foot? What is just this? That's the arm, right? So you would have to do two in the same direction, because it would be crawling in the same direction. But you see how you could play around with it. <laughs> I mean, you could do all different kinds of things with the bears. Depends on what you want to do with it. All right, so let's glue it back. And then, where's your feet? Feet. And the arms. And you see how it can get confusing now? Is that the foot or the arm? <laughs> Oops, I'm down off camera. Let me move back a little bit. Okay, so let's reshape these. That's arm, and this is an arm. This is the foot, that's a foot. All right. Now I want to put a dress on her. So what I'm going to do is, let me see if I can use this. I'll use this half that I have here. So you want to cut a little V. Just a little V, like, um, where did I do my, here we go. So this is half a circle, which is half the body, and all you're going to do is make a little V in here. And the white usually is easier to tear because there's really no color in this mulberry paper, so the white's, like, super easy to tear compared to the, if you were doing black, black is really hard to tear, but the white one's pretty easy. Right. So, so you're just making a little V like that, and then this is going to go right here for her dress. So let's glue that down. And tuck that under. <laughs> well, I have something to show you that I'm going to do, um, but I just wanted to show you the basic bear and what you could do tonight. So, And then what I do to form the skirt is, let me take this piece of paper here. Let me just tear a piece of this so it's easier to show you. So we're going back on the smooth side, and I really just take my top of my glue here and just make four we'll make uh, maybe four or five so we'll see how many circles we'll do so can you see yes <laughs> a mama bear <laughs> so that's one two three I think maybe four she's a little bear so if we need another one we'll, we'll cut another one So there it is, just four circles. Can you see? There we go. Four circles. <laughs> so then we're going to just cut these out. Let me just put this over here. Oops. I'll just tear these off. <laughs> no, she won't be wearing any any panties. 
They're asking if she's wearing a stream bikini. <laughs> So we got one, two, three, four. I'm gonna make one more, I think. Okay, so we have five. And what I usually do is, let's put the arms on first. And I think I'm going to make her arms just a little more skinnier. Let's see. That's the feet. That's the feet. That's the arm. See how confusing it can be? Arms, feet. <laughs> I think I'm going to just cut this down just a little bit. Let's make her arms just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to come in here and take a good chunk off of it. I'm going to have her holding something, so we'll put the arms like that. And then I usually take, um, I like to have little sleeves, like half quarter sleeves. So I just tear a little piece kind of with my thumb just like little I don't know half circles whoops so see it's just like that it's just like a little circle kind of and then I just put that on her like she has little sleeves When you put the stickles on it, you don't even notice um, where it ends or where it goes. So there we go. We have to give her a face, too. All right, so let's get her little dress on first. Hi, Lena! <laughs> You're not working! So we want to put two. I always put five, usually. Two on one side. And I like to keep the middle. Um, two on that side and one in the middle. All right. I think I might have to just add a little bit. I should have probably cut her, covered her whole little bottom. So let me see. I'm going to add that little piece in there. So then I just start adding the circles. I add one way in the back. And I like to get five, at least five on there. So it's one there. one there and you see how it blends and once you put the stickles on there I want this one in the middle one there one more you took off tonight <laughs> that's good all right this one's a little chubby one my other ones I usually make them <laughs> make her skinnier all right so then that's the little skirt and then we're going to put her feet like she's um, sitting down. So one there. And one there. Oops. All right. So let's give her a face. Oh, you did? I went to the Philadelphia show one year when it was, the theme was Hawaii, I think. What theme was it this year? 
that was a couple years ago I went to the Philadelphia Flower Show. You're making a teddy bear good, already dark good. All right, so now let's fluff her up a little bit while she's on here. And you could do ballet shoes. I mean, you could do it, you know, dress her up as much as you want. <laughs> you can see a face already. So I have these little ovals that I cut out. And then, um, where is my... <laughs> Good, Dar. You'll have to put it on Facebook so I can see. I usually use tweezers because um, it's so hard to hold these. Hi, Fairy Floss. So now I usually put the eye in behind the muzzle part here. And these are pretty big eyes. I usually use smaller ones, but for tonight I'll use these. So now whenever I tell people to make your bear, the farther apart the eyes are, the younger the bear, and the closer the eyes are, the older the bear. <laughs> so now you see how I have these eyes and the tips are kind of like leaning in? That's what you want. You don't want them like this. Let me show you. This is okay for Halloween if you want them to look evil. But if you put them out... See how I tilt them out this way? She looks mean. She'll look mean like that. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you always tilt the eyes in towards each other like that. Or you want her to look one way, you can. <laughs> but I always put the eyes looking facing in. And then I take one of these and I just turn it sideways for the nose. So see? <laughs> All right. Then I usually take a white gel pen. I hope this one works. Here. And then I make a little, like a little dash on her nose. And then I just do a dot. Right? I do one dot. And then I try to just do it in the same spot on the other side. Of course, this pen doesn't work that great. So see, there we go, like that. And then I usually put these little white edge, you know how your eyeball has like white at the bottom? So. See your eyes there now, it is white on there. This one could be a little bit darker. There. And then, of course, now she needs eyebrows. So I usually take a um, precision pen, a zero one. Yeah, I usually, um, it's like a punch, like, so like an oval punch, or you could use um, a circle punch. Mm -hmm. I have an oval punch that I usually use. So now for the mouth, let me see where I have mine. Um, let me show you my other bears that I have. So that's one way to do it. You could also just draw the eyes. So let me show you my other bears that I made for tonight. Um, oh, she's stuck. Hold on. Oh, she's stuck. Oh, she lost her leg. <laughs> Hold on a second. Got to fix her leg. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Came apart. So 
So you see how this one, I just put a little dot. Let's see if I put, I put a, just a little dot on her face. Why isn't it just focusing? Come on. Come on. Focus. Ugh. This camera. All right. Anyway, so it's a little dot. You can make a little dot, and then you see I make a little eyebrows, and I put earrings on her ears, and I put a little glitter on her cheeks. So this is one of my ballerina bears that I made, and she's all nice and glittery with her skirt. <laughs> so that's one. Then this is fix this. And then this is my other bear. And you see, you could just draw. Let me see if I can get her headband out of the way. See, I just drew her eyelashes. Why can't I get this focus? Hold on. Let me see if I have autofocus on here. Uh, okay, there we go. See how her eyes are? They're like eyelashes and they're closed. <laughs> She's cute, isn't she? Wearing earrings. This, this is another ballet girl that hopefully we're going to use tonight. So this is what I'm going to do now on this bear. Oops. I draw a line. And then I make like a W. Oh, this pen doesn't work. Hold on. Maybe another one. So let me see if I can bring it up to you and see. So I'm drawing a straight line. And then like a W. See? So you can make her smile. And then I put little, um, I don't know, dots on her cheeks. So see that we have that. Oh, the background noise got you. Oh, dar. And then just, just do little curves for her, for her eyebrows. So see? Then I have to put her down for this. So let me get her a little bit closer. I want to show you how I do. Um, I want to show you how I get closer to the eyes. So I take my black pen here and I just outline. I want to outline this. So can you see that? Do that. And then I put like little... I don't know, crow's feet or smiley lines on her. So I do the same thing with this one. Come in here, go against this, and then do little smiley lines. So see? Um, come on. There we go. See? And it's a little wobbly, but there you go. So now you can see her. And you can go all the way and put, you know, little eyelashes and stuff like that. So, um, and then we want to put a little pink on her cheeks. So I have my, I use a little stencil brush like. And I, I thought I brought up my pink chalk, but I'll just have to use red. Usually I use pink chalk on her cheeks, but um, I don't see where my chalk is so we'll just do a little bit of this i'll just brush it off there we go we have that and then all we need now is a little bow for her hair Yeah, it makes a cute little face on her. So we need a little bow now for her hair. So let me just take a piece of um, ribbon. I think this will be too big. We really need like a little piece of ribbon here. This is some tool. So I think I'll just roll this up and we'll use that. And then I'll cut it. 
Let's see if I can get this into a knot. <laughs> Did I get it? No. I need my tweezers. She needs a name now? <laughs> She's pretty chunky compared to my other bears. I usually make them a lot skinnier than that. Ugh. Nope. If I had a bigger piece of something here, I could put on her, but I don't that I can see. There we go. And scissors, little glue. Isn't she cute? And there she is and then I would go ahead and I would stickle this I would put all stickles all over her dress and then that's how um, she looks like this and that's how I do a dress see it's all glittery there so you can see how skinnier I use littler eyes to make her little compared to this one and this is a different color bear this is like a cinnamon color and then this is a little brown bear <laughs> So you see how different they look. But they're cute. <laughs> Alright, so let me move this camera back. Okay, and let me take it off autofocus. There we go. So that's our little bear. All right, so now I'll show you my fish. And I think next week we'll play with um, Graphic 45's butterflies. And I'll show you how I did the um, fish. But we'll do butterflies instead. So let me clean up here a little bit. And then I'll get that ready. We're going to use these bears tonight. So maybe we'll even use her tonight. So we'll see. <laughs> can you have her you guys can make your own now you have the pattern to make it <laughs> all right let's stick that there all right so now this is just a prototype because um this is just a sample because i wanted i think i have to move farther away hold on um and you can see better picture on my blog it's just so hard to um to show it on camera because it's so big so let me move back a little all right so here it is can you see it's still kind of far i might have to raise this camera a little bit hold on let's see if i can get the camera up a little of course see my messy desk now so do you see here it is and she actually sits and I had to use, of course, this is just a, um, a sample, so don't look at her legs. Her legs are kind of like, <laughs> but then the mini comes out from here, from the inside. Oh, you saw, I'm going to show it to you in a minute. So, and then this is the mini album inside. It's a little bathing suit. She has a little bikini. Oh, I have to glue that down. But it, all I did... Thank you, Dawn. 
All I did for this weekend, oh, this is a picture I'm going to use, was I just got the pages in here. I didn't get them decorated yet or anything, so I'll have it finished for next show. I have to have it finished by the 14th so that I can um, submit it, so that'll be the mini that we work on after this class. And then, so what I did was, um, Carol had sent me the butterflies, the Graphic 45 butterfly. So, when I saw it, I was like, oh, oh, and I just got this new die too. Aren't these cute? The little, um, we love that. Thanks. Oh, what do you call this? You know, the porthole, that's it. So, um, so this was the metal butterfly. This is the little one. So when I saw it, I don't know what made me think of a goldfish right away. I was just like, oh my gosh, I can make this a goldfish. Of course, I showed it to my husband and my daughter, and they're like, there's no goldfish in that. It's a butterfly. <laughs> Hi, Carol. <laughs> I get you. So then what I did was, and you can see step by step on my blog how I cut this. I cut this in half, and this part is the goldfish, and then I use these for the fins. So let me move in a little bit closer. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, I'm crooked now, too, with my camera. Hold on. Ooh, did I make you dizzy? All right. So, the butterfly turned into a fish. Oh, it's a bunny's birthday. Happy birthday, bunny. Oh, and I forgot to show my things that they got. They sent me, too. I hope I brought it up here. I might have to bring it next class. But you see the goldfish? And I painted this with vintage um, patina paints. So next week I think we'll do some butterflies. And we'll paint some. Um... Oh, good. So it's good. It looks cute, right? Swimming, swimming, swimming. <laughs> so. So that's my fish. So you can see now here's half of the butterfly. That's this half. Let's cut it in half and then I use this one for the long and then I use this little one for the top of here. And that's how I made the, um, the goldfish. It's cute, isn't it? Oh, I could get the focus would be nice. <laughs> I can't get the focus. Thank you. Thank you, guys. This is cute, isn't it? So that'll be one of the embellishments that we use in our By the Sea album. So, yeah. Oh, and here's one of the other tags. I'll well, we'll show you real quick. Oh, my little seahorse fell off. But I made this little. This is out of paper clay. And then if you if you have the tree stencil, that's how I made this to make it look like kind of like seaweed. It's cute. And this is just corrugated cardboard and then just painted it. No, I don't live in a box. <laughs> so next week we'll play with um, these metal butterflies and we'll paint them up and then we can use them in our book. So we'll do that before class next week. All right. Oh, my little picture. All right. So last week we left off. Um, oh, I wanted to make a little. We might, if we have time, we're going to make another little bear. Oh, I got to plug in. Hold on. Um, in this book, I have some. I, I never really scrapbook, like I said, until like 2005. So when I took pictures, I only took like one or two pictures here or there of whatever, whatever the occasion was. So I don't have a lot of pictures of my daughter um, when she was little. I just have like 
one or two little photos. So that's what I'm going to use to put in this book. But what we, we left off was, this was the back cover we did. This was the second page. Yes, I'm recording, Barry. Thank you. Let me move out. Let me zoom out a little now. Nope, the wrong way. Let me move some of this out of the way. So what we're going to do is, I'm looking for my cover. Now when we left off with the cover, of course I couldn't leave well enough alone. So after we finished, and remember we did the pink on the burlap, and then we did the white. Of course, I sprayed the whole thing with the steampunk, so now it's kind of like tannish. Because <laughs> I thought that white was too, it was just too um, sticking out there for me. So now I paint, I sprayed it. So this is with the Lindy Gang, um, the steampunk one. Steampunk sepia. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our flowers in the front here. But we have to work on the other page first before we do this. And I want to spray these other ones. So I made a couple more paper flowers. This is the one that I did last week. And then I made two more. So we have to spray those real quick. Um, so let me get my pink. And then uh, we'll... And I think I'm going to change this butterfly because, of course, I didn't take it off and now it blends in too much. So I think I have another pink butterfly, so I'll put that on her. So let's just spray this really quick. Um, I have paper towel. Oh, let's just spray it on here. These are the paper clay flowers that we made. Yeah, they're all made out of paper clay. Mm -hmm. I used Jannie's, um, the way she used her paper rose. And then I made little circles and we just um, flattened them out. These, these are a lot skinnier than I did the week before. And I think they look better. So this one's a little bit thicker. You can see that. It's kind of thick. And these are thinner. So let's spray them up real quick. I need a piece of paper. So I think this was the Pink Lady's Pink I did with that. And then this one's the Alpine Ice Rose. So I'm going to spray that with that. All right, so we're just going to let that dry, and then we'll do the front cover. Let's see how pretty they look. Looks kind of more orangey to you, but it is pink. Pink with a little gold in it. Oh, one of them fell apart. We'll have to glue that. Yeah, Janny, put up your blog, uh, your um, blog, because um, these were the paper roses. <coughs> That um, I did with from Janie's blog. And you can see you can just put a little glue and it'll go right back together here. I can't remember where. There it is. Is that where I had it? Yeah. All right, so we're going to let that dry. Ugh. There. So now we have those to put on the, our front cover later. <laughs> 
She's fast, isn't she? Barry, Dawn is fast. All right, so we're done with that. And what did I do with my paper here? So we're going to work on this cover here. And what, oh, where's my pictures? Mm. I am going to use um, some of the ferro paste on here too. Just for the corners here. Mm, I hope I won't left my knife up here. Oh, my palette knife. Do you see it? Had it here last week. No? Alright. Uh, I'll just have to use this. I can't get it in there anyways. Too thick. So this is the Viva. It's, it's, uh, it says modeling cream, but the ferro paste. Either one, it's all the same. But I'm going to use this one. Oops. And I'm just going to use the edge here. Just to put something on there. And I should, let me get my wax paper first out so I have that. Mm. Hold on a second. So I'm just going to add a little bit on each of the corners of this. This is probably one of my favorite stencils, this one. So I'm just going to lay this down. It dries pretty quick, so we'll still be able to work on here. Oh, I have a big chunk there. I'm just going to pick this up. And then see how pretty that looks on the edge there? And then I'm going to add some more on the edge here. Mm. I don't want to get that part there, so I'll just hold this up. I'm just going to put it on the corners. And there we go. So see? See how pretty that looks? It's just a little flourish. It gives it a little shine. And then I'm just going to... Let me wipe this off. I'm just going to come around the edge with this a little. And then we'll do the same to the other side so that we have a little bit of match. See? It just gives it a little edging. Aunt Maggie! Okay, so let's put that over to the side to dry. And then I'm going to do the other page. The same. I 
Yeah, it is a train. <laughs> God, you can hear that? That's like a mile to, away from here. Not even a mile. It's like, I don't know, like three blocks from here. <laughs> but usually you can't hear the train that loud. <laughs> And then I'm going to do the same thing here and put it at the bottom. I know it has a big glare on it. Let me just get a little bit more on here. There we go. Can you see how cute it is? That just gives it a little, little something. I'm just going to add some more on here in the edges. that dry. So let me just clean this off. <laughs> oh, I forgot to look. What was the theme again for the flower show? I missed it. Hi, Lily. So let's just clean this off. Put the top on this. Oops. I always put the top just because it gets it a little bit more so it's so airtight like. Hi Lily Bug. Alright, I'm going to just clean this off. I'll have to put this in hot water. As long as I got most of that off, that's good. Stick that in there. That was an L in abstract form. Yeah, it was so pretty when they did the Hawaii uh, theme. That's good. I'm going to just throw this out. Leave this there. All right. So our first page should be dry. Yep, it is. So... I have, where's my pictures? So this is my cowboy pictures. And I want to see what I'm going to do here. I might put this one here. Or maybe this one. 
Let me get my picture first. Am I from Hawaii? No. <laughs> my girl from, um, she was kind of from, I think she was, I don't know if she was born in Hawaii or she lived in Hawaii. And we, um, so which one do I want to put here? I have this one. That's my hubby when he had hair. He doesn't have any hair anymore. <laughs> All right. So, and she has a little Minnie Mouse. The reason why I'm doing this ballerina is if you see on her shirt here, she has Minnie Mouse there. It's doing ballet. So, like I said, I have like three pictures. So, it's like, what do I do with it? So, I'm going to put... All the pictures I have, only like one or two pictures in this book. So, um, and I want to add something else here. So let me get the paper line. Let's see what else we can put on here. Let me just grab this paper. Thank you, Ella. It is cute, isn't it? Oh, of course it's stuck. Hold on. My paper's stuck. So I want to add another um, piece here. So let's see what we're going to add. that one um, we do have to put our holes in here too so <coughs> I couldn't find my little hole maker I gotta look for it <coughs> so I want to add um, something else on this bottom piece here <laughs> Thank you, Ella. <laughs> so we have this. I think I'll add that. So we're going to get some flowers on here, too. So I'm going to back this with a little pink, I think. So we'll map this on here and then we'll, I don't know if I want to put this on here too, let's see, this and then that. I like to mat like two or three different um, layers on my mats, so let's see what else we have here. Maybe the green. green the pink that and then I want to put a little piece at the bottom here so let's do that first we're gonna mat that this picture so let me see how big this is I'm gonna mat it on the I think I'm gonna mat it on the green first mat a brown yeah I could do that too I want to stick something though, like something else on here. I just don't know what I want to put on here. Hold on, looking, looking, looking. There we go. I'm going to cut a piece here. Oh, I'm going to cut. Mm, I don't know. Let's cut this off first. <laughs> so I want to 
go. Of course, you know, I don't do really any good measuring. So let's do this. I want to add this piece here. And I'm going to come down about here. So what is that? I'll tell you what this measurement is in a minute. So let's see what this is. Good. Six by six and a quarter. I'm going to do that. I'm going to also mat it on pink. So what did I say that was? Six by six and a quarter. So we're going to go six and a quarter. Six and a quarter by six and a half. I'm actually going to cut this five by seven so that I can get four out of here. My girlfriend. Sorry, did you hear that noise? <laughs> first. Alright, so what do I want this at? Six and a half. Right? Six and a half by six and a quarter, yeah. We'll even go like that. Just a little bit of an edge there. And then, where's my picture? Nope, I have to go this way. I still think it needs something else. Green, I still don't want to go with the green. Where's my green? I'm still going to go with the green. So this is, I think, pretty sure this is four by six. This is, yeah, four by six. I'm going to go four and a quarter by six and a quarter. quarter. All right, so I'm going to mat this on there first. Oh, I didn't bring my running tape up here, did I? You know, this is the one that's really bad, too. It's getting towards the end, so it's, like, super hard to... You know what? I'm going to switch this one out. I don't have much tape on this one, either, so let's see how this one works. No. Nope. Uh, let's see if I have another one up here. Oh. I also have to go with score tape. Score tape.
And back then they printed um, the year on the back of the photos, which I love. May 1994, that's when this was. Oh, can't get it off. All right. I'll mat this down. All right. <coughs> I'll put that down. I think I need a bigger piece of brown now. I need this. Still want a piece of pink underneath. Hi, Stowaway. <laughs> I want a piece of something, something else here. Let's see what else I have here. I still want like another. I don't know. I want something else here. What can I put here? <laughs> Something else. I want something else pink. Hold on. Maybe I want to get closer this way. Closer here. That. Maybe this on this side now. Nope. Where's my other one? A one eighth inch under the green, a pink. Pink. Oh yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> That's why it usually takes me so long to do a layout. So usually I'd like to be prepared. Of course you could tell. I'm not very prepared this week. <laughs> oh. I'll be better prepared next week, I promise. It's just that, I don't know. I don't know what happened to me this week. <laughs> Too much playing around with by, by the Sea, I think. <laughs> so this is four and a quarter by four and a half. There we go. Much better. Okay, so let's glue that down. Should I go with the dots? Probably not the dots. Probably just plain. Right? Or should I go with the dots? Nope, plain. I guess it does, but I don't know. Sometimes I think I take too too long. <laughs> You're busy, Aunt Maggie. <laughs> Oh no! Ugh! Oh, 
have to try to get that off somehow. How am I going to get that off? Ugh. Oh well. All right. I want to add one of these bears on here, but I don't know which one. And don't forget, I have to put my holes on this side. So, and I want to add some flowers tonight on this side. Um, let me get my bag of flowers. These are some of the new I Am Roses. Um, they have those in the store now. This is um, the Small Curly Wild. I got those. Um, I don't know which this one is. I forget what these are called. Do you remember what these are called, Perry? These are the... I love these little pea poppy ones. And I have these little green roses ones. So, let's open these up. Surgery on your elbow, Aunt Maggie. What happened? That might be a little too big. Alright, so let's see what we're going to add. I think I'm going to have my little bear peek out of here. So I think what I'm going to do is the one that we did, I might have to tear her apart tonight. So, let's see. We have that. We have that. <clears throat> I'm put some of these on here. love these, these little poppy ones. Um, I have I might have to tear this one off a little bit. Let's see how big this one is. If I pull this off. surgery on the bear it might we might I know I want to put this here and this and then I want to do like a cluster here and I'm looking for some ribbon I thought I brought some ribbon let's see what else we have maybe instead of that one this one I kind of like that one um I'll 
put a bit, some of this rickrack down here. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to cut her apart. I think I am. Find my scissors now. I'll have a big mess here. Zoom out a little? Oh, I don't know if I can zoom out anymore. Let me see. I'll try. I might have to put my camera... Hmm. I have to put my camera up a little. I know with this bigger... Um, hold on. Let's see if I can get up there. Is that better? I know the glare too on that. Oops. Alright, I just want to see where my hole is here. So it's right there. So I'm going to come up a little on this. So I'm going to glue this down first. This one is a prima flower. It's kind of got mulberry paper in it and it's got a little bit of um, embossing. Pretty, isn't it? It's an old one. I have to use all my flowers. I know a lot of people like to do their layouts pretty simple, but I like a lot of junk on mine. <laughs> so, all right, let me like cut this down first. So I'm here to here. So I'm going to glue this down. I just want to make sure I don't... I wish I had my hole puncher up here and I don't. So I could punch these um, holes. I just want to know where it is. Let me see if I have my poker here. I could at least poke it out so I know where it is. Oh. Alright. Now I have an idea where the holes are. Oh, I know. I had this I wanted to put down, too. All right. So let's see how this works. This needs something on. We'll use this on the next page. On the next side. I told you I can't make up my mind. All right. Let's glue this down. We're definitely putting the rickrack down. <laughs> I want to make, I would go down a little bit. That hole is right there, so I'm going to go right here. Oh, you got the boo! Poor lily bug. All right. Then we're going to put this down. I am going to at least ink this. I think to find my little tool here we go and let's just ink this around Next week, too, I want to do some embossing on here, um, so we, um, we'll play with the metal um, vintage paint, and we'll do some embossing, too. Add a little few more bears. I'd like to do at least six or eight pages, so, before we move on to the By the Sea. So, we'll see how it goes. So let's put this down. I'm going to put it down with this in case I change my mind. Alright. And we're going to put the picture down so we know what we're doing.
Yes, did you miss it, um, Ella? I showed the by the sea earlier. That's what we're going to do after. I showed the um, the cabana and the uh, mini album. You want me to show it again? I'll show it at the end. So let's do this. All right, so we have that so far. You can see that. And then see how pretty and now dry. It dries really quick, that paste. All right. So now let's see what we're going to do with our bear here. Um, this is one that we did today. But I really want to use one of these. But they're like, I probably made them too big for this page. Let me clear some of this stuff off. I really like this one. But she's just too big for this page. Unless I cut her off here. Unless I take her off here. Let's see. This is a primrose, a bow bunny. I'm a Ghana. I don't know if that is what um is I don't know what Laura used, but this is um Bow Bunny's Primrose. Alright, let me take this off. Maybe I should have put it on the other side. Oh, I can't make up my mind. What to do? What to do? It's hard to see, too, with that big glare on there. How's that? some of these little roses isn't that bear cute my little ballerina bear I might have to cut this little I don't like this dark green on here I might move that I'm going to cut this one off thanks Barry What else? What other flowers do I have here that we can use? I have this white and pink. I like that one. This is like this one is like white and pink and this one is a little more pink all right so I have it on a slant so a little bit just so that you don't have the glare it looks better thanks let me just move this over a little what do I have on here Water pen out of the way. Okay, there. I think you can see it now. That's good. <laughs> All right. I definitely want to use this. I love this. I want to use this on the next page. So we'll put this on the next one. It looks like we're only going to get to this one page, and then maybe we could put the flowers on the cover, and then next week we could finish up this page. So I think I'm definitely going to add that. I'm going to add these on there. This one. <laughs> P 
believe me, I have thousands of flowers. I should have no business buying any more flowers. <laughs> uh, let's do this white and pink one. And then I want to put... Um, Oh, I know I have some bling. I think I'm going to put some bling on here if I can find it. All right, so I want to do one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to add a few of these and then we'll start gluing it down. Let me get these out of the way. All right, so I'm going to glue my bear right up there. So let's put that down. And I have her down with some pop dots. Put one more pop dot on here. Oh, I forgot to take them off. Hold on. get her shoes in there. It took me so long to do the shoes. I'm not sure to do the shoes in there. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put this one down. And I need some ribbon. Hold on. I want to get my ribbon out. <clears throat> We might add that. Let's see. <clears throat> we have some white bling. Um, I'm looking for my pink bling. Hold on. Oh, my bad. Oh, thank you, Dawn. That was with your help. <laughs> I'm looking for my pink bling. Which I don't see. Hold on. Looking, looking. I know I brought them up here. Here it is. stick with the white so we'll see oh there it is oh I can't reach hold on looking 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 oh, there we go my pink ribbon Okay, so let's glue this down. I want to put, um, I guess I'll put some glue on here. I'm going to tear this green off. Sometimes I like to use this green for, like, leaves, so no sense in wasting it. Oh, I wish I had my other one. That's a bigger hole, like... And I don't want to cover up her feet. And I don't want to cover up my words there. So. 
Let's put it right there. Might have to move her foot over a little. Stick that one there. Um, I wish I had my other glue up here. I don't. I have my glue dots up here, don't I? I'll stick these now with this. of these on here. Oh, I'll pull the screen off. <laughs> you want the ballet bear in red. You guys know that Dawn loves red. She loves red. <laughs> flower. Oh, some of these. Nope. I want to finish at least this and then get the other flowers on the front cover real quick. Let me see what kind of bling I'm going to use on here. I had other bling I really wanted to use, but of course I can't find it. Well, I had this on here, so I am going to cut this. I'm going to cut this at this dot here. And she loves red. <laughs> it sounds too hoity-toity in red. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut this one off. I have that there and I think I'm going to cut this one here get this oh can't grab it oh let me try to move up a little bit so you can see there can you see that all right so we have that there I want to put, stick a bow here, a ribbon. Let's see what this looks like. And this might be, well, we'll see. 
Oh, this is wired ribbon too, so let me just see what this looks like real quick. I might have to put another ribbon here. I just don't. If you had seen all my ribbon, you would be like, you don't have any ribbon. <laughs> Right, this is not going to do it. I'm going to leave this here because I am going to put like a ribbon or something over here. So I'm not going to, um, I'll have to find it. I don't know. I'll have to add something on there later. All right, I do want to add another bling. So let's see. So maybe we'll do this or. Let's see what do I have here. put that there and then I'll put my ribbon down below here that there now you can never have enough ribbon is right <laughs> So it looks cute and then I'll add my little rip in there and I think that's good so it came out cute and I'll put a picture on my blog too so you can have a better chance to see it but, but she looks cute and of course don't they look cute <laughs> all right so let's do the front cover real quick and I'm going to change this butterfly out but we want our clay roses and our clay leaves that we did last week. I have them here. So let's see what we're going to do. We might add another big flower here. Let's see what do I have? Um, looking for a nice big... <laughs> Have one of these. I have this. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Dawn. So let's see. I think we'll go with that one. That one's pretty, isn't it? Like that one. And we have our leaves. You can see how shimmery that is from the Lindy's, isn't it? That's silver. It's pretty, isn't it? Pretty in pink. Yeah. So we're going to add that. And our little paper flowers. We only add two. We'll see. We have our leaves. I need this little leaf for that one. Maybe this bigger one for this. I'm going to have to put it on the bottom here, I think. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I love these little green ones. Let's open this up. Scissors. There they are. <laughs> I always like to add these in threes. Let's see if I can get them out of here. <laughs> get it out there we go so I usually twist these up at those in threes I'll get three more one two three 
I'll twist these up. And then I like to curl these around. So we could stick those in here. I'll glue these down real quick and then we'll call it a night. I'm going to glue these down and then, I don't know, I might add something else on there. We'll see. See what happens next week. <laughs> so let me just glue this down. And I'm going to glue this down with um, the fabric glue. Only because of the burlap. I want to make sure it stays down. So let's glue this down first. I think I need a bigger hole. There we go. And I'm going to glue these. down oops can you see that yep and then I'm gonna glue this other one down and I'll probably add some more flowers I gotta find something else that I want to use and I'll stick this here Let's stick these down. So there we go. Now I'll probably add some more um, flowers to fill in here. But that's what our front cover looks like. Like I said, see, I painted this brown. I should have let pulled this out before I did. So, I'll have to see. I might even just go over and spray her pink. But she looks cute. So, this is what we did last week. And so, that now is our front cover. And we'll add, I don't know, I might add some more stuff here. Thank you, Aunt Maggie. So, we did that tonight. We did this one tonight. We'll have to glue her foot down. That came out real pretty, didn't it? And then next week, we'll um, finish this page out what I'll do is I'll add the other bear where's the other bear well I add this bear on here and then I have two more pictures to go on this side so we'll play with that and then we'll have to decide what we're going to do for the next two pages um, I am going to use uh, have some cowgirl pictures of Gabby so I am going to make a cow um so maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do the cowgirl bear. But I have um, these pictures here that I want to put in the in the next pages. So this is her with her little cowgirl outfit on. Cute. <laughs> and we'll paint. Um, so next week what we're going to do is we'll make the little cow um, cowgirl bear to go with this pages. And then we're going to paint some of the butterflies with that patina paint. And then... Um, Hopefully we can get at least two or four more pages for next week. So, so it's very pretty. 
So did you guys want to see one more time? I'll stop the recording and then um, Western. Yeah, next week will be Western. Um, I'll stop the recording and did you want to stay and see the, I'll show the Buy the Sea album again. So let me clean up my desk. Thanks for coming. And then next week we'll do the Western. We'll do the Cowgirl Bear. We'll do Paint with the Vintage Paints for the Butterflies. Okay, I'll show the album. Um, and then that'll be next week. So then we'll continue with the Primrose. So thanks for coming. Bye.